I'm quite nervous and quite excited. Off on another adventure. folks it is monday the 30th of august it is 707 in the morning and it's time for me to say goodbye to run fest run and say goodbye to car fest so the closest train station is about a three mile walk away but it's all good i'm making my way back to winchester where i will be starting the pilgrim's way my third challenge of the uk for the tough girl uk adventure series which is being sponsored by cicero um yeah super excited 140 miles I'm gonna see if i can do it in five or six days so it's gonna be quite a big physical challenge but you know what i'm really looking forward to it this is winchester high street This is it folks, walking the pilgrim's way. This is the start. So this is like the closest bit that the pilgrims could get to. So you can see like all the hand marks on here. And if we come inside, the man did explain it to me really beautifully. So this is, um, the bones would be buried. This is so exciting. So I've got my pilgrims book, um, with my name on. It's got its first stamp. And so now I can start Pilgrim's Way. Oh, I'm quite nervous and quite excited. It actually feels quite, uh, with the music playing and everything, it just feels really um, inspiring, exciting, like off on another adventure. Okay, keep calm, keep calm. It says the King Alfred pub stands on the northern boundary of the Abbey grounds. That is the King Alfred pub. This is the way. So we're going to cross over this bridge and then we're going to be coming up to a main road and then we're going to be heading to our left. And this is the tunnel under the bridge. This church is a pilgrim's church on the route from Winchester to Canterbury. Page 33 of the Sister and Guide book, that's the church door, and here it is in real life. I managed to get a stamp here, but I can't get a stamp. Like, there doesn't seem to ever be anybody in, in any of the churches. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like there's no luck here either because there is a big old sign saying Pilgrim's Way stamp not available. Okay, on to the next, on to the next church. These beautiful gates lead into Avington Park. Ovington. 
a red telephone box. Welcome to the Bush Inn. Might just stop off, have some lunch, charge some electronics. That was a total bust. Unfortunately, they didn't have any plugs which worked. <laughs> So, apart from behind the bar. So there is another pub further along. So fingers crossed that pub will have, I don't even need Wi-Fi, I literally just need power. So I just crossed over this little bridge and the first thing I saw was all this water and I was thinking, oh no, that's the way I've got to go. But luckily there is actually sort of a pedestrian bridge that you can cross over. But what's quite interesting is the markers. So you can see how high it must get to when it floods. I've done about 9.2 miles, which is pretty good going. I'm pretty pleased with it. There is quite a lot of road walking though, which is tough on the old feet. The feet are feeling it. Not quite sure how far I'm gonna go today. Minimum of at least 20. I'd like to go a little bit further, but bear in mind, I've already did the three miles, you see, plus the extra probably 0.8 from the station. So I've probably already done an extra four, which doesn't count. So I don't want to push it too hard too soon. We've got a nice little marker here. London is only 56 miles. Winton, eight. And this may just be me, but I think that looks a bit like a Camino shell. So what I didn't know was that Winton actually means Winchester. So it's eight miles from Winchester. Hmm, good knowledge. So we're following the, the shell, which is also saying the St. Saint, Swithin's Way. So I didn't quite time it right, but how cute is this? There's a little village shop just in here. Oh, it's just adorable. There's a church. So. I don't think I'll be able to get a pilgrim stamp in there. I have not been fortunate with pilgrim stamps today. Um, I've collected exactly one. It's 4.44 p.m. I've done 33,764 steps and according to my watch 16.4 miles so minus three for the walk to the train station i've only done 30 miles today which doesn't seem a lot but i've still got about three oh, i've still got about three more hours of walking time as we walk through the woods i'm glad i'm doing this in um daylight i'm not a fan of night hiking in the woods well this is a change of scenery we've left the woods and now we're in like this wasteland or should i say farmland which needs to be left fallow or well, i don't know i'm not a farmer i'm a hiker now the hidden little path that you want to take is if you just cross over the road you wouldn't even know it was here but boom can you see just around here Around the corner, this is where we're going. There's the seashell. Okay, it's only five o'clock, so it's too early to stop. But just check out this pathway. No, I really hope I can find somewhere like this a wild camp, just flat, green, well mowed lawn. That would be epic. It is 6.39, I've walked 38,597 steps, which is about 18.7 miles. So only about 15 of those miles are on the, uh, the Pilgrim's Way. But I've burnt 2,444 calories. I'm just debating, I'm, I think I'm gonna wild camp here. Because there's nobody around, it's grass, it's green. And I actually really don't like sort of camping in the woods, um, covered in trees. So at least this is a bit more open, but no one can really see me. I mean, that's the entrance. And so I'll be sort of in my green tent around the corner. So I think I'm well hidden and obviously I'll be discreet. It's just how early can I put my tent up? Because I'm so tired. <laughs> I need to sleep. I think I'm just going to do a little bit more planning. 
um, t for tomorrow because what's really exciting is we're going to go see Jane Austen's house which is very cool so Jane Austen is a very famous author who wrote books like Pride and Prejudice which we studied for English GCSE way back in the day um, okay but yeah I'm really pleased of, of how far I've gotten done, done well good start to the day but my left knee is starting to throb just a little bit so I think it is time to to rest and it yeah I think this is a good place tent set up I'm just gonna get all my stuff inside I'm gonna rub some tiger balm on my knees and my legs I'm gonna drink some water and then gonna oh do some social media oh yeah I'm gonna catch that up I cannot wait to lie down